Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with Rose Stone and our adorable Tiger Lily who I think has had enough of all this jostling around we've been doing recently so we're gonna swap out for Thistledown our little bunny oh Thistledown you're so cute and there's some apples back there Thistledown maybe I can pluck you and Rose Stone some apples from that tree that would be so much fun actually but yes so welcome back to Star Stable Online everyone and we are over here in Fergrove Village we are actually hunting down believe it or not a zombie apocalypse game. I'm still a little bit stunned at that turn of events, but we are looking for a zombie pole bending apocalypse game so that we can borrow an excavator so that we can make a uh, lift to go up to the observatory. So talk about a roundabout turn of events, but that's always fun and gives us an opportunity to explore a new area. We've been to Fergrove a time or two before, but I've not ever really like looked around over here. And when we popped out of the horse trailer, it's like grandma's glamour. I'm really curious about about what like we've seen the punk store we've seen what a punk haircutting shop looks like and now I'm a little bit curious at what the opposite end of the spectrum grandma's glamour oh my gosh it's actually like a grandma oh my gosh okay so if I was gonna get grandma's glamour here what would it be like this is actually really brightly colored for being grandma hair. Okay, there's little bobs you can get done. All right, there's, yeah, it looks like mostly little bobs. So I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe like being able to get her hair, to be completely honest, but it looks like she'll actually even tie dye your hair. So that's not quite what I was anticipating. What about makeup artists? So if you were gonna get some grandma's glamor makeup, what would it be? Goodness gracious. All right, a little bit brighter than I thought. A little bit brighter than I thought. I think I'm still pretty happy with like my current looks. <laughs> I really am. But that cracked me up. I really thought we were going to go in there and like come out with maybe our hair braided or come out with like gray hair. So that was pretty hilarious. All right, Rose Stone. Now that we've checked out Grandma's Glamour, we are going to be looking for somebody who has the archives left over from, I think, Mississippi, Washington was his name, something along those lines, and we, who was a great explorer and apparently has the lost treasure map pieces we're chasing down. And we are also looking for the zombie apocalypse game. But look how cute, look how cute all of the little laundry hanging up is. And let's actually come over and let's see if we can buy some apples. So we can say we have some fresh fur grove apples for Thistledown and rose stone that would actually be really fun so we're gonna pop over here can i pick up some apples i sure can so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy one apple and we're gonna buy can i get another one hey let me get let me get more than one apple there we go so bought a couple apples and that'll be good gifts we're actually only just now starting to run out of the food that we collected from when we had from when we had all of the the apples and all of the hay and the carrots and everything else we got from the uh rainbow event when we were having the saint patrick's day that's what it was saint patty's day i had to remember oh but we have some fresh fur grove apples so now that we are well equipped let's go ahead and let's see if we can find what's lurking over here. Oh my gosh, look at these horses. <gasps> let's go look at the horses first. Oh, there's some pretty ones here. Oh, look at you guys. Look at your ears. <gasps> what a fun mix of spots and not and like and glamour. Oh, who are you? An Arabian thoroughbred. Okay. All right. I really I think your nose is kind of fun. Oh my goodness. It reminds me of a caiman actually. Oh my goodness. And then we've got these beautiful ones over here. Hello, gorgeous. I'm still totally in love with this variety of Tinker. I really think I am going to end up with the Tinker. Our Tinker is really good for when we get up into the snow because I would definitely love to make sure that we're properly prepared with the right kind of horse. I don't think Rose Stone would very much appreciate being up in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. But let me know if Tinkers are one of those horses that do better up there because I personally love this Tinker. I want this one right here. Definitely 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 ah oh, I'm getting the horse bug I've been so good at being really strict about not collecting up too many horses and then and then the new ones come out and I'm just really falling in love and look at all of these curious little ears ah oh, Rose Stone what am I gonna do what am I gonna do Rose Stone oh gosh is this the one I have 
The Morgan? Yeah, this is Rose Stone. Rose Stone, it's it's your your like sibling, your identical sibling. And I'm actually so in love with the Morgans that I want this one too. Ah, oh, apparently I really love the Morgans. They're just one of the breeds that just grabs my eye. What how do you guys decide which horse to go after? Do you just go for like the strongest stats or do you go after the one that just sort of calls out to your heart? Because man, that's hard decisions. All right. Look at this cute, cute little place. Oh, there's a professor here. Professor Yura. So we can't really talk to him just yet, but we'll have to see if we have something to say to him in the future. They've built around some huge boulders. That's interesting. Is there anybody over here we can speak with? Because we're going to be looking for a little old lady who apparently bought the zombie apocalypse game. The zombie horse pole bending uh, apocalypse is what it's called <laughs> and we're gonna be looking for a little old lady I think who wanted to try video games for the first time so she bought that and I feel so sorry for her all right and it doesn't look like the councilman up here has anything to say to us so let's go this way let's see aha there's somebody we can speak with and does she happen to have the things we need and we're looking for, here's Miss Packard, and we're looking for Miss Morse, I think is her name, who bought the zombie game. So, Miss Packard, how do you do? It looks like your sister actually runs the Grandma's Glamour Beauty Shop. Me and my grandson, Andy, have decided that we want a chicken coop. It would be so nice to have some chickens and fresh eggs around here. <gasps> I fully agree with you, Miss Packard. I love chickens. I am old and frail. <laughs> And Andy already has too much to do to take care of the sheep. Would you mind helping us build a chicken coop? I would be so thankful. Um, of course. That's not quite what I thought I would be doing here. I could have sworn I was on my way to doing some other things here in, in Fir Grove. Oh, no. I think I have to go all the way back to Silverglade. Oh, I just realized because it's a different day. I forgot to keep the quest active. Siri, why? Okay, well, let's see what we can do for Miss Packard really quickly. I'm sure that Andy will help you. Ride down and talk to him. He's watching the sheep next to Firgrove Sandpit. All right, so we're going to be helping Miss Packard with her chicken wishes, but give me just a second to be able to get going again on the things we were supposed to be doing here in Firgrove. I am so embarrassed. I can't believe I forgot to activate those quests. Ah, Siri, what are you doing? All right, and there we go. So I have run back, and now we have the two little quests that we are actually here for. So it appears we can come over and speak to Felicity over here, and maybe she'll be able to help us out either with the archives or the zombie horse apocalypse game, which I think is really funny that we have both of those quests at the same time here in Firgrove. And by the way, isn't Firgrove so beautiful? I had to put on my dress for this because I felt like it needs a little bit of warmer clothing while we're over here, and I just can't get over how gorgeous all of these these fir trees are and the little cabins I feel like we should be making apple pie and sitting down and sharing apple pie with our friends oh it's just so pretty here Felicity video game all day Miss Morse she lives here but we haven't seen her since this morning Mm, she lives here in Firgrove, but she isn't here right now. Yesterday, I saw her ride out of here faster than the wind. Her for her horse was packing pole bending poles. I've never seen her so riled up about anything. She screamed yeehaw when she saw me and rode up through the mountain pass towards Valdale Lake. Oh my gosh. So apparently she has set off <laughs> to go do some pole bending. So I guess we'll have to go on a little bit of an adventure towards the lake to be able to find her. That's going to be fun. All right. But let's go ahead and come over. So who do we need to speak to in town? Ah, the councilman. There we go. In order to continue on with finding. There we go. Mr. Franklin. Good day, Saga. Washington Jones collection. Yes, it was stored here, but it isn't here anymore. Ah, trying to track down these historical archives. I feel so much for my beloved Chips, my boyfriend and companion in life, because he's also a historian, and trying to find one document can be this confusing in real life. No joke. Washington Jones collection was so big, we were forced to hire out a place in an old mine around here. Oh, fun fact, I actually used to work at old a, a place that was built into a limestone mine in Missouri, and they really do do that. You actually have historical archives, you have important... Um, um, like security records, you have data, you have like servers for computer storage that are put inside of old limestone mines because they stay the same temperature all year round and they provide a really safe environment for preservation that way. So yeah, that actually is a thing, believe it or not. There was a lot of unused space in that old mine. It shut down now and there was a big flood this spring, so unfortunately I'm not sure what happened to the collection. If you are lucky, the old piece of the map may still be there. You should ride over to where it is and have a look. Good luck. 
All right, so we're gonna be trying to do multiple things. Track down a zombie horse riding, game playing, pole bending woman. Go visit somebody to see what their horse, like what we can do to help them get some chickens. And we also, how do I get out of here? Over here. And we also need to go and check out a flooded mine. So I love the diversity of things we have to do every day, Rose Stone. Ah, oh, come on, Rose Stone, come on, thistle down. And I'm still enchanted with the other horses, but I definitely want to take good care of my rose stone first. All right, so we're going to wiggle our way down here to hopefully check out the old mine. Then we also have to go up towards the mountains. But what a beautiful day. I love being able to spend the day here among Furgrove Forest. It's just so pretty. All right, so I want to continue going down here, it looks like, in order to go check out the abandoned mine. And then I do have somebody's kidlet, like Packard. Miss Packard wanted me to speak to her son, I think it was, down by the tar pits. So, yeah, Andy. Andy by the tar pits, if I remember correctly. Are these the tar pits? Let's see. Oh, hey, there's somebody over here. Is that you, Andy? Oh, my, he's just a little one. Hello, Andy. Howdy, Saga. Have you talked to my grandma? We have talked for a long time about buying some chickens in a chicken coop, but nothing has happened because my grandma is so old and I have too much to do. But if you can help out, I'll guide you through the whole building procedure. Grandma will be so happy. Of course, Andy. How could I turn down an old woman and some chickens? That is totally something I can help out with. There is a lot to do, but if we take one thing at a time, we'll do just fine. I wonder where we should build the chicken coop. I'm not sure where we should put it, but it should be somewhere not far away. I want to be able to watch over me, my, my grandma, uh, watch over my and grandma's chickens. Would you mind riding around this pen to see if you can find a place that would look good? All right, no problem, Andy. I can totally kind of poke around a little bit. So he is in charge of watching the sheep sheep. And oh gosh, this place, <laughs> no wonder he's in charge of watching the sheep. It looks like this place is kind of falling apart a little bit. Hello, little sheep. So, where on earth? I could have sworn I just saw some spots glowing for me to look at. But it looks like they disappeared on me. Or was it, like, around the exterior of the pen? Aha! No, it was over here. So, I want to come out. And then we're going to... Aha! Like, over here might be a good spot for chickens. So, we'll help him out. Alright, is this a good chicken spot? Does it have enough grass for them to be able to enjoy pecking? Does it have some protection from foxes? Very important questions in life. Alright, then we'll ride this way. So we'll go, well, and then this might be even easier because they'd have like a nice little perch. They could look at things coming and going. Um, I don't know. I don't know about this, Andy. I think, I think this over here would be a good spot. But I need to poke around a little bit more. And then we need to keep moving so we can go to the mines. What a fun day. All right, so does he want us to look up around here, too? Well, let's check it out, Rose Stone. The chickens need to have a good, happy home, after all. Happy chickens make happy eggs, I suppose? Oh, boy. All right, so we'll ride around. Is it anyone sit close by, he said. Oh, gosh, it looks like these used to be torches lit up. I wonder if we're going to help him fix this up. What's a sand pit used for, anyway? That just occurred to me. I don't even know what a sand pit is really used for. Oh, let's see. Anything over here? It's kind of tricky. Aha! Here's another good spot, potentially, for some chickens. This area has a lot more room, actually. So this might be an even better location. And you've got a nice view of these little stone fences. So, alright. So I think we found the perfect place. It's a little bit further than I thought it would be. But maybe Andy will like it for his chickens. I am a sucker for chickens. So I wish... <gasps> If I could have a chicken saddle pet, my life would be complete. No joke. Cool, that's terrific. Now we can build the chicken coop. I've already prepared a proper drawing. <laughs> I like things well organized. Good job, Andy. You'll go far in life. I happen to know there are some planks by the old mine down there. I know they're left over from when they built the mine many years ago. Ride down and look. I don't think anyone w I don't think anyone will miss the planks. It's good that someone will get some use out of them. He's such a sweet kid. And look at that. Now we get to ride down to the mine for two things. That was totally like I had no idea that would line up that way, but it's totally wonderful. All right. So we're going to continue riding down to the old mines. Oh gosh. Are these the old mines? Wow! I was thinking like a hole in the side of a cliff. This was an entire proper mining operation. Are you kidding me? Holy moly days. Didn't anticipate this. All right. Well, I guess we're going to be diving in here in just a second. Uh, are these the planks? 
So these are silver glade mines, huh? Okay. Wow. Wow. There's quite a bit here. So we're picking up some red timber. And then it looks like, am I, am I digging through these pieces to see if I can find the treasure map? I guess I am. Oh my gosh. I did not anticipate the old mines being this big. <laughs> so we'll look around the old mines very carefully. See, this is kind of Rose Stone's thing. She likes this kind of uh, investigation. She's kind of like a detective horse, if you ask me. So she likes this kind of investigation. Amethyst Mist really likes being out in the open fields. Uh, Melanie Warrior really likes being around the people, like back at Moreland and just kind of relaxing with people. Ooh, we just found something. Okay, hopefully. Now what do I do with it? <laughs> I guess go back to the councilman. So we must have found something useful there. And then let's ride up here. I guess I need more timber pieces. Can I find them over here? Yeah, it looks like I can. Wow. What a place to be, Rose Stone. We'll have to be very careful. I'm not used to a mining operation that's so, like, on the outside. Huh. Alright, and then we'll come over and gather up these timbers. I really don't think anyone is going to miss them. You're right, Andy. Alright, so wood for the construction of the chicken coop. Let's ride back to Andy. And then I guess we'll ride back up to the councilman. And then we'll continue onward up the mountain. <laughs> searching for a, a pole-bending, zombie apocalypse-playing, like, older woman who just got into video games for the first time and has apparently gone off the total deep end with it. Can't really blame her. You know, adventure can be pretty exciting. It can be very fun to be caught up in the worlds that we can share and enjoy online together. Andy, how do you do? Great, this should be enough. The planks still look good. There is even a nice red color. Grandma said that she wanted her chicken coop to be red, so this will be perfect. All right, that's wonderful, Andy. So, shall we start with the construction? Here's a hammer and some nails. I have I have left the planks uh, you found where we'll build the chicken coop. Do you remember my drawing? A nice red house with a frame around it. All right, we've got this, Andy. So, we'll go ahead and we'll help this kid out real quick. Are we going to build the chicken coop over there? Is that Yeah, that's the good spot for the chicken coop. All right, so I might have to get off Rose Stone for this. So hang on. Ooh, sorry, thistle down. <laughs> I always think we're just gonna like pop thistle down or Tiger Lily straight out of the saddle bag when she does that. All right, and then we'll come over. Whoops, that's the treasure map piece. And there we go. What's that key for again? My tree house. That's right. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. How did I build that so quick? I am a woman of so many talents. I didn't even know I had some of those talents. So that's, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm so happy. There's going to be a chicken coop there from now on. That I can highly approve of. All right, so let's ride back over to Andy. Andy, my friend, chickens. Wow, so great. And such a great drawing I made. You're a real handyman, but something's missing. Oh, I got it. We need chicken wire. Otherwise, the chickens will run out into the woods. Imagine if they could run up our racing track. That would end in disaster. Felicity and the stable in Firgrove has fencing for the sheep pen. Maybe we can use some for the chicken coop, too? All right, so we'll go get some of that from Felicity. And then we're going to continue onward up the mountain and see if we can track down that pole-bending zombie apocalypse playing woman. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna have like a new pole bending uh, Competition like a new racetrack that she'll open up here. That would be kind of funny. All right So let's go up to fir grove and then I'm gonna have to figure out how to get up the mountain Actually, that's gonna be a whole new kettle of fish But that should be or I should say kettle of pine cones because we're surrounded by furs Do furs even have pine cones or are those pine trees? That's a good question for a botanist. That's for sure. All right, so up into fir grove so, we're gonna have to find the path to the lake, but I really love exploring the mountainside. It really reminds me of when I used to live in the mountains in North Carolina, and that makes me happy. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can borrow. Felicity, hello, hello. I need chicken wire, please. Hiya, so fun seeing you again. Is the sheep pen broken already? Oh, you're building a chicken coop. Of course I can give you some chicken wire. I have some old chicken wire, but I need to repair it first. Oh, no. All right. We'll come back for that. So, oh, yeah, we're friendly with Firgrove now. Well, that's wonderful. All right. And I'm going to give it a good go just to see if I can figure out the path on my own really quickly up the mountain. So I guess if we follow towards the championship, that takes us up to the lake, doesn't it? Right, Rose Stone. So if we follow this path. No, this takes us right over here to this championship spot. All right. 
So I'm going to have the fun of figuring out how to get up to the lake. Hmm. Hmm. If I look at the map... All right, how on earth did I get up to Val... Was it Valdell Lake I got up to? Oh, look at that! You can see! I didn't realize you could see where the ferry's at on the map. That's amazing! I had no idea that was even a thing, and it moved and startled me. All right, so it looks like I'm going to need to get up to Valdell Lake uh, on my own to be able to follow the woman <laughs> who's doing the championship. And there's also Minka to speak with over here. Oh, and let's go speak to the councilman. That's actually super important so we can show him that we found that piece of the puzzle. Or do I speak to the councilman? Deep in the archives. Yeah, right back to the councilman. So let's go back to the councilman. And then next time, we're going to have to figure out if we can follow that woman up the mountain. And be able to retrieve the video game. This has gotten quite interesting. I did not anticipate such an adventure. But that's what makes it so much fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and follow the councilman up here. Alright, sir. I have examined the mines. Sorry, Rosestone. Didn't mean to make you hard stop so quickly. I've examined the mines, and I think I have found the piece. May I take it? Look at that. We have the whole piece of the map. That piece of the map belongs to all the people of Yorvik, so I can't give it to you. If you want this piece of the map, you will have to share the treasure with the people of Yorvik. We need every shilling so we can build new roads and new stalls. Agreed! I'm gonna take it all. I guess I'm not getting any treasure. Maybe James will retire after this. I'm really not sure what James will do, actually. <laughs> and now we're going to ride back and tell James what happened. Ooh, gosh, and it looks like... All right, sorry, sir. All right, right in Rosestone, right into his head. That wasn't that wasn't intentional. All right, so now we need to go back and tell James about the piece of this map. Feed Rosestone. In fact, let's feed her one of the apples that we actually got here from Fir Grove. And we're going to go up to Valdel and pop up to the Valdel Lake so that there you go, Rosestone, have an apple so you can enjoy that to get the video game. Oh gosh. And hopefully we'll be able to finish helping Andy at some point set up the chicken wire for his new chicken coop. I love it. I love it. And I still feel like eating apple pie after visiting here. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.